All right, so the holiday season is here, and uh, you know, there's a lot of cool things that go on. We hear stories about this. We see YouTube videos about it, stuff like this. I mean, it's a very romantic holiday. Oh, yeah. It, it, and not just in the I love you, you love me thing, right? It's a romance is uh, mindset, yeah. the things that make us feel good. Well, it's a, war, it's a warm, fuzzy holiday. That's you know, right. The, the, so, the joy of giving and, and receiving. A lot of guys will take the big step. They'll uh-huh. drop to their knee, and they'll ask that wonderful someone if they would like to continue continue down the road of eternity. Now, uh, when they do that, yeah. life gets expensive. <laughs> and we've talked about ways that insurance can help protect that investment. Not that it'll save a marriage. Right, right. But save you some money. Yeah, let, let's go into yeah. that. What is it called? What do they yeah. call it when this is added to your insurance? So there's a couple things to consider this time of year. You know, if you are acquiring, if you are uh, going to be proposing and getting the 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 diamond that was three three months of your salary uh, for your for your loved one. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you have protection for it because that diamond is going to be worn and it's going to be in, in motion and it's going to have potential problems. They're not perfect. You know, they're set in stone, but they're not set in stone. They can they can come apart. So you want to make sure you're protecting your exposure of what could happen to it. If something does, you want to make sure there's coverage. Uh, if we talk about a regular homeowner policy and this would go for a renter's insurance too, Jeff, uh, that, that there's, you know, let's say that I have a renter's insurance policy, just for easy example. Let's say I have a limit of... Of personal property of fifty thousand dollars, so I have fifty thousand dollars, and I bought my my soon to be wife a nine thousand dollar ring. Good for me. I mean, someday I'll I'll own it, right? You go, cowboy. Hell yeah, hello. Um, so if something happens to that, you know, and if it's the, it's the diamond that gets lost, all right. Let's say the diamond gets lost, or the the ring gets lost completely, and that's nine thousand dollars gone. Um, let's say it's stolen. That's the example I want to give. You know, so for some reason it is a stolen piece. Uh, you know, you could only get up to fifteen hundred dollars, or maybe twenty five hundred dollars, or maybe five thousand dollars, depending on the policy you have and the endorsements that you have chosen. That would be the most you would get back uh, for that theft of that piece of jewelry. Why is that? Because homeowners policies have sub limits for certain types of loss and for theft of jewelry. That's a big one where normally it, it starts off at $2,500 with most companies. But that's not going to be enough to replace that $9,000 ring. So how to how do you protect yourself? A couple of ways. One, uh, you can see if you can increase those sublimits. I wouldn't do that. It's worth looking into just for cost if you want, but I wouldn't recommend that. The best way is to specifically list it. Uh, so there is, we call them inland marine, which is an insurance term that makes no sense to anybody outside of insurance, but it's called an inland marine where either on a homeowner policy or renters or a separate policy altogether, you can specifically list that item and cover it. A couple of great things are going to happen here. One, you know, you lose that ring without this coverage. That's going to be mysterious disappearance, which is not a covered peril uh, for that type of loss on a homeowner policy. So you're going to get that coverage back by specifically listing it. You're going to get um, a full understanding of the ring because you're going to provide the value and a description of that ring. So they'll know all the C's and everything. So you'll have a better level of, of getting that replaced. Plus, your policy deductible would not apply. So if you have a $500, $1,000, $2,500 policy deductible <clears throat> with some companies, there's no deductible when you specifically list a piece of jewelry. With others, there's maybe a $100 deductible. Still a lot better than your regular deductible that would apply. So that's really something to think about. It um, really is. Yeah. And, and jewelry of any kind. You know, we're talking even antique jewelry. Yeah, yeah like family heirlooms. Heirlooms. Yeah. These are, these things, of course, have more than a monetary value. They're essentially priceless. They're irreplaceable, I know. But there are ways to protect those things. And those this time of year, those items get handed through the family as well. Uh, so those are things to think about. I'm going to try to paint a picture here, okay? Not changing the subject or anything. This is one of the times that I wish we were doing a video chat. And the sole reason for that is every single time that we have this discussion during good policies, uh-huh. and you mentioned wedding rings, I don't think you realize this or not, but your hand automatically goes to your wedding ring <laughs> and you put your, you, you're actually touching it's, it while it's you're the talking. example, you know? I mean, it, it, it means a ton. It does. And the joke on this ring is when I asked Jen to marry me back in, uh, well, it would have been 2004, uh, I said, I bought you a diamond. Now you'll have to buy me one. It was just a joke because and it wasn't even a funny joke, but it was just me being me. And uh, I knew I wanted a titanium band. Literally, when we're looking for wedding bands, the first titanium band we saw was this one with a diamond in it. 
So I have this on my homeowner policy. It's only, yeah, I won't say it's only, but it's about a six or $700 ring. If that diamond falls out and I don't have it specifically listed, it's just a lost diamond. I have no coverage. I have nothing. Specifically listing it, I would have the ability to replace that diamond at no out-of-pocket cost to me on my homeowner's insurance policy. Yeah, I got a three or four uh, titanium rings, uh, but they're all wedding bands. And I didn't get them for marriage. I just got them because I got a thing for titanium. Sure. Not sure. a one of them has a jewel in it. Right. And they ain't worth 600 bucks. Well, yeah, but, they're, they're, but you know, everything has a value. And, and, you know, if you were going through a jewelry box, you may find that there were certain pieces of jewelry that – you know, maybe you can call it like well jewelry, you know? You know, you get the, the top shelf liquor behind you and the well stuff in front of you. Maybe it's well jewelry. Maybe it's just nice pieces that you have, but they don't have a ton of value. If you have items with value, those are the ones to consider specifically listing and better protecting yourself. Okay, so a question, because we've only got a couple of minutes left here, okay? Uh, a question. We just talked about jewelry and how significant that was, and that's on homeowners and renters insurance policies. Yeah. Let's say, for example, Tiny Todd got gifted a 1965 Mustang from dad or from grandpa. Can I be adopted by <laughs> dad or grandpa? But I mean, something along those lines. Yeah. It's something to relate it to, uh, you know, automotive insurance. Yeah. It, can yeah. that be done as well? Yeah. So you, with those types of uh, uh, vehicles, because there's value, uh, you, you can certainly get a specific type of policy for an antique or classic car that's going to be uh, very well priced because you're not going to drive that car every day necessarily. You may There may be a week of nice weather where you drive it every day, but otherwise it's going to be a, a, a selective cruiser. And so, yeah, plenty of options there. This is the time of year that you should really be and, and never, never let insurance not be a part of the process of obtaining or getting rid of something. So if you are getting additional, maybe you're going out and deciding, you know what, it's time for the family to get the best TV available. And you're going to go get a $5,000 crystal television, you know, the UHDs. They're incredible, you know, and at some point, some, some point the price will continue to drop like the LEDs and the other ones. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of value there. Well, so you buy that. Hey, it's an ah, it's on the wall. Congratulations, we got this awesome television. And now some one of the kids is so excited they're jumping up and down, and something in their hand flies out and smashes the television. You know, you want to know if that's going to be properly covered or not. And on a regular homeowner policy on a form three, it's not going to be because there's nothing that's going to cover something smashing into that TV. But a form five policy would. So dialogue with your insurance agent as things change in your life, not just Christmas time. But Christmas time is a great catalyst for this discussion. Uh, but it's it's something to think about through the course of, of your years uh, as a family growing and as an individual getting older, are you optimally protected? Well, the reason I asked is because the other day I saw a YouTube video where some gal was wearing those uh, virtual reality goggles. Oh, the Oculus. Yes. <laughs> head first. Is Oculus this, 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 this? Head first into a 60-inch plasma. <laughs> All right. 3 so policy. There's no coverage that says you headbutted your TV. We'll uh, have the rest of this conversation uh, possibly next week. But the reason I used the classic car, collector car, yeah. uh, is because that's based on an evaluation. It is. Okay, so yeah. we can save that for another day. If yeah. folks have questions on any insurance. You can give us a call, 748-5224. You can visit our office on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury. Online, the BarrettAgency.com. Google Facebook and YouTube, Barrett Insurance Agency. And uh, again, this year, Jeff, we'll be, we put our tree up yesterday. So our Christmas tree is up in, in the window at the new building. And uh, we will be uh, shortly starting to collect toys for the Santa Fund in St. Johnsbury. We would do that every year. Perfect. So. Thank you so much, Mike, for all you. Yeah. Barrett Insurance Agency, Portland Street in St. Johnsbury. We go back to the music with holiday music coming your way from Paul McCartney in minutes.